You are tuned in to Educate, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we'll be doing the topic of phototropism. So now before we get there, let us recap as to what we have done in our previous videos. So in our previous video we've done um we've discussed that plants respond to the environment using the hormones known as auxins. So it means just like as humans we do respond to the environment, plants also respond to the environment as well using the hormones known as auxins. So these auxins are produced at the stem and root and also those auxins can cause a process known as apical dominance. So we have discussed all of that in our previous video and we hope that you watch it before you proceed so that you have a clear understanding on what are auxins. Stay tuned for this video. So now this video will be discussing the process known as phototropism. So um, this is just uh, an image that illustrates what phototropism is. So when a plant is exposed to unequal sunlight, it bends towards the light as this figure suggests. So you can see that um, this sunlight here is just striking only one side of the plant, right? So we are saying that um, here the sunlight is striking only one side of the plant it is not it is not distributed equally on the plant so the sunlight is striking only on one side so since the sunlight is striking only on one side how will this plant respond this plant will bend towards the light so you will see that um, the plant will actually have a bending reaction it will sort of move towards the light so that's what happens uh, maybe you might have never seen this but you should try it out so this is specifically unequal sunlight so it can it's not only sunlight it can be any type of light but then as long as it is unequal meaning that the light is only exposed to one side of the plant then this plant will bend towards that light um, so this bending reaction is known as phototropism so phototropism is the name of this process that's happening so we can just define it as the growth of parts of a plant towards a light stimulus. The most important thing in this definition is to know that this plant is growing towards a light stimulus. So if there is light, um, if the plant is exposed to light from one side, it grows towards that light. That is known as phototropism. So phototropism is, is caused by the hormones auxins as well. So we need to know specifically how do auxins cause phototropism to occur. So now let us move to our slide. So how does phototropism occur? So now uh, when the stem is exposed to unilateral light. Now we are starting to explain. So when you are saying that uh, a stem is exposed to unilateral light, it means that it is exposed to light from one side. Just as in this case, you can see that uh, this plant is in a box, so it is not receiving light from all sides. It is only receiving light from one side. So you have to explain that this whole phototropism thing only occurs or only happens when a plant is exposed to unilateral light. Hence, you have to be given a mark for explaining that this all happens when the light is from one side or when the light is unilateral. So what is that effect? So remember that the auxins are, let's say this is our stem. Let me just point at this image. So this is my stem. Here, remember that this is the tip of the stem. That is where the auxins are produced. So when the, um, where, when the stem is now exposed to light from one side, you can see that this is, uh, this is the sun just representing light from one side. The auxins will do what? They will move to the darker part of the stem. They will move away from the light. So you can see that uh, auxins were produced here at the tip, but then they are moving. They are moving away. They want to go to the darker part of the um, or of the stem. So when the stem is exposed to light from one side or unilateral light, the auxins will move to the darker part of the stem or away from the light. So now you can see that uh, they, there will be more auxins, of course, that will move to the darker place. And this lighter side will remain with less auxins. So we have to mention that there will be a more concentration of auxins 
at the darker side of the stem. So you are now trying to explain that because the auxins have ran away from the light, is from this light, from this sun here, because they've ran away, they will now accumulate at the darker side of the stem. And when they accumulate at the darker side of the stem, they will have a high concentration, more concentration, or there will be more amount of auxins at the darker side. <laughs> and remember that the main function of auxins is to promote growth, or to inhibit growth. So auxins can cause growth or they can inhibit growth. So in this case, because there will be more auxins at the darker side of the stem, in a stem the auxins stimulate growth. So when you're saying that they stimulate growth, they make um, this part of the stem, this darker part of the stem to become longer or to grow bigger. Yes, when I'm saying they stimulate growth, it just means that it will become longer and grow bigger. So imagine this, uh, that if there will be more growth here at the darker side than at the lighter side. Remember that the lighter side of the stem does not have auxins anymore. So if growth is stimulated by auxins at the darker part, this darker part will become bigger than the lighter part. So imagine this darker part becoming bigger, 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 bigger. Whereas the lighter part is still smaller, 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 smaller. So this will eventually cause this what this whole stem to bend. The, the, this will cause the whole stem to bend towards the light. So this will cause the stem to bend toward the light. I think this is enough to get you five marks when you're explaining the process of phototropism. So this is what this is how it happens. So you have to mention that the light is from one side, the light is unilateral, and then that unilateral light will cause these auxins produced at the tip to move to the darker part. They will move away from the lighter part. And then when they move here away, they will accumulate, meaning that they will have more concentration at the darker side. There will be more at the darker side, more auxins, by the way. These are auxin molecules, more auxins at the darker part. And when there are more auxins at the darker part, they will stimulate growth. They will make the darker part to grow longer. This is the darker part. It is growing longer. And when there is more growth at the darker part here than at the lighter part, this will cause your stem to bend towards the light. You can see that this is your stem. It is bent towards the light. So this is, this is just a group of what phototropism is like. So now, this process of phototropism has got certain advantages for the plant. Do you want to get more benefits from this channel? From only 20 rands per month, you too could become a member and get exclusive benefits and even private tutoring. Click join on our channel page to find out. So um, these are three advantages. So phototropism allows easy pollination of flowers. So when you're saying that um, a phototropism allows easy pollination of flowers, it means that if this, um, if this plant bends towards the light in this manner, let's just say this is my plant bending towards the light. Let us just say here there are flowers. Let's just say here there are flowers. So this plant has got flowers here. So you can see that more flowers will be exposed or easily exposed for what? For pollination. So remember that in grade 11 you discussed that pollination occurs at the flowers, right? So if the plant bends towards the light, it will be easy actually for pollinators to pollinate this flower. So it allows easy pollination of flowers. And then the leaves receive enough sunlight for photosynthesis. So let's just assume that your plant has got leaves here. This is your plant uh, having leaves. So you can see that here now, because this plant has bent towards the, um, to, towards the sunlight, or maybe let's just say the plant has, has gone through phototropism, now these leaves here are, are going to be exposed to more light. So if leaves receive more light, then photosynthesis will take place easily. Remember that light is a requirement for photosynthesis. Hence, we say that when these leaves are exposed to more sunlight, then 
there will be more photosynthesis okay occurring so it becomes easy for photosynthesis to occur because there is now more light these leaves are exposed to more light since this plant is already bent or since phototropism took place and the third point is that it allows easier seed dispersal so remember also in grade 11 that um when 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 the wind wants to uh, carry away the seeds from the from, from this plant it will be it will be the wind that will like take away the seed right so if this plant is now exposed more to the sunlight when the wind comes it will be easy for for it to disperse the seeds or it will be easy for there for it to just blow the seeds away so that they can start growing new plants in other regions so this is just all about phototropism in our next video we'll be talking about geotropism or gravitotropism thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen don't forget to subscribe tell your friends to stay tuned